Hello. Welcome back to an episode of We Are Next to the Equestrian Assassin. Uh, with a huge equestrian, you know what. And we're going into the Goa Ruins, which are in the Toxic Fence again. So the last dungeon remaining down here. Let's clear the thing. Also, I didn't really show it on the map, so let's just give me a second. And it's this one. And there, good old Goa Ruins. Can a free Dark Shroud? Yes, only for rogues. Now, the thing is, why do you go through all of those dungeons if you don't even get something out of it? Well, that's actually a very good question. Completionism. That's the only thing. Wait, what? Can we... Uh, yes, raise that statue to the ground. What are those creatures? Somehow they seem to be new, like some kind of goblin-ish uh, or goblin-esque creatures. Now, destroy the seaborn goddess. Uh-huh. Oh, no. I think I know what kind of creatures these are. So, where am I going with that? Ah, wait a minute. I was kind of uh, complaining. Was I? No. Uh, I said that everyone should always have a flask active, right? Let's activate one. <laughs> it's a good old bonus to thorn damage potion and armor and whatever. Let's just use that while we have it. So, how much damage do I do with thorns? Oh, look at that. I just have to stand there and everything is fine. Alright, we got one done for him. Perfect. Onwards. I just have to go four more levels and then I can finally get better, better stuff. Wait, what? That's the Seaborn Goddess? Interesting. I thought this was the, like, uh, witches also. The big fat one. Okay. Come on. And we have it dead. Hey, legendary pants again. What are we gonna do? Peen them. So what's the gain damage reduction while shape shifted into a werewolf? That is great. Uh, that's that instead. No, oh, yeah. Wait a minute. I have to do this. The thing is, yeah, but you don't really notice this one as orange that much, right? If it's grayed out, obviously the grayed out stuff is there to make it less visible, right? But if you want to dismantle it, there's no dismantle the legendary kind of button. Which would be fairly helpful. Righty, now let's just connect these two sections together. There we go. Mm. Yeah, the idea is not to explore the environment. The idea is to finish the environment. But sometimes you do find yourself some uh, some nice notes and some backstory you can tell. That's the nicest part. But, uh, you gotta be kidding me. What's going on? Maybe after a certain amount of time, the uh, legendary drop rate just increases dramatically. Oh yeah, wait a minute. This one uh, pulverizer creates a shockwave. That travels towards uh, forward, dealing damage. It's the minimum, that's great. And I don't know if... The, it would be nice to know if this is a uh, found only, or if this is a... Um, whatever other thingy uh, only is. So, um, if you can find this in the codex, for example, offensive stuff. Uh, there should be something like... Pulverize is now an earth skill, tectonic, yada yada. Uh, we're just looking for the word pulverize in here. No such thing. Okay, so this is the found only. Very interesting. That is actually a really, really decent one. For pulverized players. We are not one, so I don't know if I should keep... Nah. We're not going to change the build. I'm not going to play werewolf with this dude. The thing is... If don't need to play two different characters uh, because you can uh, pretty easily respect your character with the with the um, by just uh, buying and uh, 
than reapplying the points. Like that's actually really neat. It's one big advantage over Path of Exile, for example, where if you have uh, created a character, you're kind of stuck to that character for a very, very long time. Because you cannot just reset your stuff willy-nilly. Well, even in here, you're kind of limited by, uh, by the amount of gold you have, right? But the thing that I want to focus on is that the item of respect that, like, uh, forgetful, was it an opal scoring or whatever, the whitish one. It's actually really difficult to get. And you can't just quickly test things out, you have to always come make new character. And that is a really weird. There you go. Uh, where do we go? Let's go upwards this time. Uh, yeah, that one doesn't connect. So we have to go back again. Let's go back again. Da -da 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 -da. Don't even look at the numbers. <laughs> Uh, once that I can, yeah, once I can be sure that pretty much every item will be a better item, then I can start comparing stuff. <laughs> because right now, uh, the items that I have are pretty much decent. Did this dude just dive through the floor? That's cool. Oh wait. No, that too. Ah, right. He did a prestige on me. Pretty nice movie, actually. Love that. So. Oh, wait. That's a nice dodo. A totem that's grey that you should not even need. Hmm. Takes a little while until vulnerability is applied. Look at that. 15% free hits and no vulnerability happened yet. So, let's see. Let's see that. Go on forward then. Where do we end up if I continue this way? Is it a dead end or does it actually go through the dungeon? Yeah. Ah, that could actually be the way through the dungeon. Hmm. No, okay, that's just the way to the next event. That's neat. Okay, uh, I want to die. Okay, this is the only one that can live. Let's just try to keep uh, as many of them alive as possible. Why can't I just give them healing potions to make it easier? That would be nice. So you start off with less healing potions because you gave them to the uh, adventurers but you make them at least able to survive longer or something like that that would be sweet oh no one of them is dead oh, again right the 16 more second uh where are they where are they where are they that's the one okay no 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 okay i have to make sure that this one survives ah bollocks this mission is just annoying. 
we can't do anything to save them. At least, um, actually, if you use some defensive ability that has a push effect, like the Tempest Shield or whatever it was, uh, the windy one, the almighty push, then you might be able to save them. You just push the enemy away a little bit, and everything's fine. But you have to get that first. So. All right. And let's... Oh, everything is green. Life on kill and lucky chance. Nice. But it's a totem. And we don't deal... We don't do totems. The damage isn't high enough. Not interesting enough. Kind of sad. The whole totem idea and reducing the cooldowns is pretty sweet. Just not at the beginning of the game. Also, I was looking into damage buckets uh, of the Diablo and how they get added or multiplied or whatever together. And um, it seems that there's one damage bucket that consists of all the damage to and damage against and damage whatever. It's basically a fusion uh, of all the damage buckets into one big damage bucket. Uh, what I mean by this is the this stuff here damage with damage with damage with uh, damage with companion whatever all damage and um, Why is it when you need it not overpower damage to injured enemies for example something like that, right? So it's not one stat gets multiplied with another stat but they are added together into one big damage stat and then Afterwards, uh, they get multiplied with other stuff. But the damage stuff itself is added together, which makes comparing things a little bit easier. The only thing that is multiplied afterwards, um, out of all of these damage to or damage against or whatnot, is vulnerability. That one comes later. And of course, overpower damage. It would be nice to have some kind of trigger word also, it's something that connects the buckets together maybe even just a number right like bucket number one <laughs> bucket number two <laughs> something like that um so you know that the calculation can work this way and this way only Maybe I should have gotten a help of uh, some dude against the feds, eh? The Dran Sea Hag. Fifty percent of health already reduced. Nice. And we got it. Biggie makes begins in this day. I only got a magic item from her. Like what? What kind of stuff is... I get legendary items left and right from all the normal monsters in here, right? But the boss itself gives me the finger, pretty much. That's great. Absolutely great. Anyway, we got the toxic fans done for now. And uh, there is one, two, three areas of Havizar still remaining. <laughs> And we are going to focus on uh, this one here first because it's like surrounded by all of the other areas that I have somehow explored. With this one as an exception because that's uh, somewhat connected to other stuff. And then we're going to that one later because this one has a nice waypoint right next to its entrance. Pretty sweet. Right. Now, where could we go to... to, 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 to. We're definitely going out of here and then we're going to teleport to the... Um, Village around here, Vieres, or yeah, whatever it's called. And then we can do some nice in tree management. Oh, yeah, da, 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 da. by the way, 
What about... Yeah, that stuff's down here. One up here. Uh-huh. There seems to be an awful lot of statues in here. Yeah. I'm definitely not looking into every little nook and cranny anymore. <laughs> so, now, how much is that? 4,000? 9,000? What's the difference here? Okay, so pants are worth more than... No, they're not. Head pieces are worth less, it seems. Interesting. 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 But they are, like, similarly good. Hmm. Alright, but what am I gonna do? Oh, 11. Okay. Veiled Crystal. 177. I mean, once I hit like 200 or so, I think I could uh, hit the brakes on this. Yeah. Gain damage attack. Yeah, watch out into Werewolf. Huh? Let's just throw that out. And that one. What was that? Uh, pulverize. Yeah, we don't care about Pulverize. Sweet. And the rest one can be sold just as is. A uh, hundred or slightly less thousand. Pretty decent. What am I gonna do with all of those gems though? What am I gonna do with that? Hmm. The nice thing is they do stack, right? So it's not that they take up um, enormous parts of your inventory. Uh, by the way, if you purchase a stash, is it available for other characters or is it a personal one only? Yeah, you can only like change the icon and uh, the... Uh, not the color actually, but that's actually... Uh, that's weird. You have only the uh, selection of this <laughs> and the trash can. Sweet. Only makes sense if you can get to the stash quick enough to unload all of your stuff for later. But uh, that is not possible. Just saying. Alrighty. So, we got our stuff done. Uh, wait a minute. What about my potions? I got seven in my inventory right now, so I should be okay. Ah, obols. Yeah, while well, we're at it, let's just uh, get rid of some of those gambling currency. I mean, the idea should be to get the uh, good items out about in the field. But alright. Yeah. Tornado will seek up one more enemy. Nice. Item received. Hmm. If you spam it a bit too much, the game doesn't seem to like it. So, anything new around here though? Any new elixirs? Crushing elixirs? Is that new? 55? Yeah, I know. 55, 55. There are two new... Yeah. Th hmm. Crushing and overpower, that's definitely... Those two. The attack speed, that could really help. In terms of damage over time and whatnot. Uh, fire, no. Resistance, resistance, strength. Nah. Sage. Why can't I use that one? Because I don't have a fiend rose. Uh huh. Question: Where do I get a fiend rose? Hmm. Do I want one more? No. I actually want. The tornado to hit more than just one other target. Uh, let's go all the items. You can take there we left. go. Come back if you need work. So, then we are... Ah, darkened way is still there. <laughs> doing its thing. Uh, yeah, and then we're going to explore the Blight Marsh. Uh, we have to go this way, and we're going to start from that village. da 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 Uh, yeah, this way. Ooh, another ritual! Look at that. Let's see if I can flee those prisoners before they attack me all the time. 
Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes. Okay. Nice. Another ghoul thief has been summoned. Also, I was looking into the butcher and how you see them, and it seems that it doesn't appear willy nilly, it only appears in dungeons. So, that's something to note. If you haven't seen the Butcher in a very long time, then it could be because he did some overworld uh, exploration, like I did right now. <laughs> uh, alrighty. So, and before we do anything else in the Dark the Ross, we're going to end this episode. Until then, like and subscribe and... Goodbye. Ta-ta.